It's always hard to find the time for climbing when you spend your time filming climbing. Once the show is done, everyone else is ready to leave the gym and or the boulder because they've already had their session. You've already filmed that, um, so it's always hard to keep the psych up and climb once the job is done. And there are a few people that can really relate to me on this one, and I think that is Matt from Epic TV, and it's also Johan that has the French version of Epic TV. So when Matt asked me if I would be interested in filming an episode with the two of them, obviously them climbing, and if, if he thought it would be a good episode, I got really excited because. Yeah, it would be really fun to see these two people that loves climbing just climb and don't have to stress about filming climbing and just have that moment in the forest. And I also want to add that for you guys that haven't seen the French version of Epic TV that Jan is doing, uh, you should definitely check out the films that he's been doing and done so far because um, it's some of the best climbing videos I've ever seen. And he's a big inspiration for me from uh, like trying to up my game. And for me, I think he's been showing the way forward for a long time just under the radar because he's hands down done all like my favorite climbing videos um so i've learned a lot just from studying his climbing videos so yeah i'm just really excited to have him in the video and see him just climb and not have to stress about you know getting the scenes or anything like that Oh shit, we fell down a hill. <laughs> Alright, so first uh, warm up burn. Yeah, so first first warm up burn. Um, the right feels okay. It's, it's just like there's a point where your body, your weight shifts. And then when it shifts to the left, the right actually feels very good. And then you go out to the left, and every time you stand directly underneath it and put your fingers in that crack, it almost feels like a jam. You're like, cool. And then the second you get into it, because you're slightly off balance, slightly off center, it turns from almost a finger lock into a horrible, <laughs> crimpy thing that you've got to roll your shoulders through. And at the moment, my feet are all over the place, and that's what I think I have to work on. It's freaking AA, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I found, I found the left hand that I think is going to work. All right. But the tick mark for me is slightly in the wrong place. So it's above, it's below my top finger. So, and I stress, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to take a little bit of chalk and I'm going to, I'm going to mark the bottom finger for me. So that I know that when I come in, it's like that, that bottom three comes onto the tick mark and then the top one will just go slightly above it. Okay. That's the theory. so hard the right feels easy and that left is is very hard and it also is quite shouldery for me yeah can we take a closer look how to land with the fingers when you go into the left so i think it's like that that's what i think it is you kind of just jam it in and crimp yeah and then you kind of go i think i think but actually this is this is like i know this sounds obvious but like that is the total crux move for me, is that rock into the left shoulder. Because the right feels pretty easy actually, like I feel like I could fuck her. I was almost about to joke with you when I was in it, I was like this is easy. But the left, the left I find very difficult. I want someone else to <laughs> no, find, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's going to do it. <laughs> Alan, yes! Easy. <laughs> That's freaking good, man. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's good for my finger. So. Yeah, two pulleys, not so good. Nah. 
makes it more, makes it more epic. <laughs> I love it. All through this trip he's been like, I'm a sport climber nowadays, I've got an injury, I don't do bouldering, straight on an 8 -0. I warmed up on a 5B. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, no? <laughs> I'm not sponsored, but peach loops. If you want to send me some peach loops, um, I will treat them with respect. Oh, it's so sugary. The reason the peach loop is good for uh, nutrition for the body is the peach gives you glucose hydroxide that burns off the um, lactic acid. Top tip. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Science first. Why are we hanging with this dude again? I don't know. <laughs> I could have a cup of tea here. <laughs> Ali, come on. Yes! It's good, man. Bordering is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> just just one half of yeah. one move. It's just, <laughs> why do you guys do this? For climbing, guys. For climbing. <laughs> he just says this whatever sport. So if he's sport climbing, he's like, why do you do this? Sport climbing. You should boulder. Power editing. <laughs> we'll make that disappear. <laughs> I got you. I got you, fam. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I just ask for more money. <laughs> for this guy. Try almost, I, I try all my best so you can look good on my videos, but... <laughs> I know that feeling so goddamn well. I think it's gonna change now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've heard that from Eric a thousand times and he's never done anything different. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for your shoes? I've lost my shoes, yeah. But I found them, it's all good. It's yeah, all okay. good. I, I, know, I know what I'm doing. All right, Matt, you're gonna try from the middle part? No, I'm gonna, no, not yet. I'm gonna give one more burn from the bottom and then I'm gonna try the top section. But everyone seems to be doing a really cool left heel thing that I haven't done yet. And I've watched so many people do it and I still haven't done it. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, it's so much better with the heel. You've been that way. Come on. Okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna try the top now. I'm not really worried about the height, like I quite like a high ball. I don't really care about falling off, but I just wanna be like mentally in my head know that I can do those moves. So. <laughs> Manny boy crushing it. He's only got like one and a half moves left, right? Yeah. That's cool. So how did you get so strong? So I, I'm getting stronger. Like I think people are surprised because it seems like I've jumped a few grades, um, which I have absolutely. Um, it, okay, so it, it sort of started last year and I was trying to do an 8A sport climb for Climbing Daily and I realised I was in this cycle where although I was climbing a lot, so to speak, like three times a week or something, I was on so many trips. It, between you, me and the internet, I was incredibly unhappy, personally. I was very, very uh, like borderline depressed. I was drinking, not like a problem, but you know, you, you go away on these trips, you stay in hotels, you have hotel bars, you have a few beers, you finish a shoot, you have a few beers because you're socializing, you're talking to people, you're networking. And it just got into this spiral where I felt continuously unhealthy. So when I was trying to do this AA sport climb, I made a decision to cut down a little bit on the booze. And, and I also had this realization that at 32, well, I was 31 then, but 31, I do not need to eat as much as a 25 year old man. <laughs> So like big bowls of pasta that I could eat and my body would cope with, I, I, it, it was, I couldn't, I was over 30. Uh, and I'm not saying to you that losing weight is a key, but I'm saying that it, it, you sometimes need to just rein it in a little bit. So I reined it in a little bit 
uh, I had a, a relationship breakdown and that's always the best way to get strong because suddenly you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with my time. I, I'm doing the same amount of climbing, but I'm trying to be a bit smarter about it. So I'm doing an awful lot of stuff with weighted pull-ups, weighted fingerboarding, weighted hanging. And for me, I, I get bored of training really quickly. Like it, me going round and round on a circuit board bores the life out of me. But if I can strap a load of weights on and get that like muscle rush, for me, that's interesting. So when I go to the gym now, I'll warm up and then I'll get, hang stuff off myself, hang on a board. It makes me feel um, good. So I enjoy that type of training. And I think that's all it is, is I'm now enjoying training where I was and was before. I'm talking a lot here, but I, I'm, I'm no way a natural climber. Like I'm not naturally gifted with it. Um, so for me, I have to work really hard just to get at the same level as everyone else. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I guess, the story is boss weight, stopped drinking, and I trained more. And I got a bit of psych back. Hey, Groomy. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, so the top is kind of what I expected. It's not too bad. Um, there are big, big holes when you get in there. I'm slightly concerned about my left shoulder. I've had like this history of uh, three operations now four dislocations and shoulder moves don't love me and quite why i'm trying one of the shoulder shoulderiest it's not a word <laughs> shoulder intensive moves i don't know it's a bit sore At the moment i'm at that stage where i feel a bit disappointed and a bit gutted i, I couldn't sleep last night because i was so excited <laughs> about maybe doing this climb and now i'm at that point where i'm like ah oh, it feels really improbable mm. come on It doesn't quite work for me. <sighs> ah, come on! No, I don't have anything. Shit. Sorry. Whoops. I know, it's ridiculous. And the more I think about it, the worse I get at this. Don't think. Yeah. Yeah. You are, you are doing this. Obviously, like it really helps yeah. hang the heel. Yeah. Uh, sticking here. Okay. I think. No, no, you're right. I just want to like, I just want to get to the place I was at before, because at the moment it just feels. And the thing is, I've I've managed to do that thing where I talk myself out of a problem. So I've thought about it too much. I'm doing foot movements I didn't do. I'm not using the tick marks that I know work. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. It's okay. That was sick. That is so cool. He cruised those moves. Okay, now I'm psyched again. Right, camera away. Let's get it. Let's get this. Come on.
One day I'm going to be as strong as you. <laughs> Eric, I don't think it's going to happen, man. But thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, dude. That was like, just awesome. So thank you for, for being here. And it will, if I come close to an 8A one day, I'll give you a shout. Good. <laughs> thank you, Eric. <laughs> Cheers, man. Good job, man. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, mm. if you haven't subscribed to Climbing Daily, please go and subscribe, we need you guys. And if you want to go for my vlog, that's up to you. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to Eric, of course. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't, what are you doing watching this? Illegally watching this without a subscription? Press that button, people, press that button. Cheers, Eric. Take the I felt well hard and he was holding me up. Okay.